game. So I, I think key, whether you're whatever setting or whatever sector um, you're looking at um, and having singular or multiple boards, you know, it has to have cross representation. It has to be balanced and um, has to be trustworthy. So, you know, if, if you're a private sector or a public sector body, you need people on there that um, are trustworthy or considered trustworthy um, in the public sphere so that when uh, sharing it is occurring, that we can say, well, we've had people representing this group, this group, this group, these citizens, these businesses, these unions, whatever it is, and they've all agreed that um, this sharing is ethical, it's required, it's needed, it's minimised, and so on. It, it's important that we have further checks and balances beyond those initial governance groups, and, and that's what we're seeing, I think, worldwide as well, is that, you know, in many cases, you know, uh, companies are led by dictators. Well, not in many cases, in some cases, <laughs> they're led by dictators, you know, so data sharing is going to happen um, because that dictator wants it to happen um, and it's pushing for it. So, they, yes, they may have a, a governance group to approve and put in the checks and balances. But beyond that, then, I think it's government's role to kind of further put checks and balances in place, you know, and you're seeing a lot of that play out in the media um, and, you know, uh, that some of the giants are being called in by their governments to explain why this, that or the other is happening. And I think that's right and appropriate. 